Hello, I am Gary Brantner of Rent Arb Studios Comics, and this is the show where I talk about the comic books I've bought, whether they're from Kickstarter or comic shops and whatnot, and where you can find those comic books. So, uh, I'm going to start off with uh, saying hello, and um, you may notice I am wearing a Peter Pan shirt, which kind of coincides with one of the books I'm going to be reviewing today. This is a comic called Tales from Neverland. This came from the Kickstarters. And, uh, yeah, I backed it on the Kickstarter. Tales from Neverland. It is from... Let's see here. Oh, it also came with an awesome uh, magnet. It's very, 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 very tiny, though. But it's pretty cool. It's awesome. Tales from Neverland magnets. That's awesome. So, Tales from Neverland. Let's give you some credits here. Tales from Neverland here is... Uh, Oh, it's got, it's an anthology, and it comes from, uh, well, let's see, Dren Puck Productions. Dren Productions made this, and, uh, yeah, there's too many uh, credits to give you right now, so I'll just say, check that out. That's pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, it's got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine stories in it. That's pretty cool. So... Uh, Tales from Neverland is, uh, it is a black and white comic, got many different art styles in it, line art to, uh, to shaded ink wash, that was one of my favorite ones right there, and, uh, yeah, I had a lot of favorite ones in this, really good stuff, and so I'm going to start off with, uh, let's see, telling you, um, Let's see. This book was chock full of uh, awesome and fun stories. Really loved it and so glad I backed it. And uh, let's see. The only thing that I'm mad about is that being a creator of uh, Peter Pan the Vampire comic, I was upset that uh, there's no uh, Peter Pan the Vampire comics in it. Too bad. Uh, maybe you guys didn't know me before you pre printed this, produced it, and all that fun stuff. But anyway, uh, yeah. This group, uh, they do a lot of uh, Dread Productions here. They do, um, they're currently running a Kickstarter called Grim in Space, or Grim Space. Yeah, it's Grim Space, which I'm backing. And uh, it's doing another version of uh, Fairy Tales, which anytime there's a spin on Fairy Tales, I'm a sucker for that. I'm backing it. Uh, because, you know, uh, Peter Pan the Vampire and my Jack Frost characters, Maui and Pele, all that fun stuff. I love it. I love seeing spins on uh, the fairy tales. And so let's start with uh, one of my favorites was this one called, uh, it was called Nana in Neverland. It was about the uh, darling's dog, Nana. And uh, let's see, let's find some of the artwork for that one. Show you what I'm talking about. Oh, here we go. So there's some Nana in Neverland. Get the glare. Where am I at? Yeah, it's kind of, I don't know if it's coming across. But, uh, so Nana is barking at uh, Peter Pan and them saying, Don't go, don't go. And uh, nobody could speak dog, though. Mr. Darling comes out and yells at her saying, What What are you yell barking at? Shut up, Nana. All that fun stuff. So, so the kids disappear. And uh, Nana uh, discovers another fairy that was... Uh, trying to convince Tinkerbell to come back to Neverland and and once for all leave uh, that Peter Pan alone and all that one. So uh, this fairy um, named Bullet was trying to convince Tinkerbell to come home and everything. And Nana discovers her, gets sprinkled in fairy dust and ends up in Neverland. A whole adventure all of her own. She, uh, she terrorizes a little tiny fairy village and tracks down Bullet and evades uh, TikTok, the crocodile, all sorts of fun stuff. The the pirates, mermaids, all sorts of fun stuff. And then a mermaid grabs her and throws her into a portal to send her back to uh, England. And so she shows up in England just when all the kids get back. Really good story. And then another one of my favorites was uh, Peeping Shadow, which this had some really good ink washed art on it. Really amazing. 
really blew me away the art style and that. Uh, so, so Peter Pan's shadow decides they're flying over a lake and they see Tiger Lily bathing in the lake and uh, the shadow decides he's gonna go take a closer look. It does not end well for the shadow. A lot of arrows flying and uh, a lot of uh, punctures in the shadow after that one. And when the shadow gets back, Peter says, I hope it was worth it. Really good stories. I loved it. Um, so yeah, those were some of my favorites. There is even one where uh, Hook and all the pirates, they, uh, they get sick of Neverland and they decide to go out to the real world again and uh, start pirating. And so they come across the cruise ship. It's crazy. It dwarfs the uh, Jolly Roger. Crazy stuff. And uh, so they're like, fire away, let's board it. And all the cannons, like the iron sides of the cruise ship are so dense that the uh, cannons just go clang, 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 pop, pop, pop. No puncturing. And when the pirates get up onto the deck of the cruise ship, the uh, passengers are all, they think it's a skit, some kind of play like Shrek the Play or something going on. And uh, they start taking pictures with the pirates thinking, this is cool, this is the best cruise ever, some of the kids say. And really good stuff. I loved it. It was an it was an awesome book. Uh, really cool stuff. Different versions of Peter Pan in here, and uh, different stories, different artworks, art styles, and all sorts of fun stuff. So Tales from Neverland. It was an awesome read. I'm really glad I backed this one, and uh, this magnet is really cool. And uh, I'll be following along uh, Dren Publishing's on. Uh, Dren Publications on uh, the uh, Kickstarter follow app, follow ability, whatever you want to call that. And uh, yeah, anytime they back something or make a new project, I get notified about it. I love how Kickstarter works that way. That's how I discover most of my uh, Kickstarters. And so, yeah. Uh, Tales from Neverland, good read, and uh, Grim Space on Kickstarter right now until... Well, I didn't write down the date, but when I get to the uh, campaign corner and talk about all the Kickstarters I'm backing, um, I will tell you when that one ends, but Grim Space is on Kickstarter. That's awesome stuff. Now, here's one that I just read. This one was really cool, too. This is called Hollowed. This is issue number three. Hollowed three. Hollowed three here is... All right, where's the credits page? Oh, here we go. So... Hollowed 3 is what in the fluty flakes is what the issue is titled. It is by Casey Bauer, oh, Casey Boker, writer, Darius Johnson, artist, Brian Ort, music supervisor, because yes, uh, these come with a, uh, a soundtrack that you can uh, link into on Spotify's and all that. And Michael Hoffer Jr. is the letterer. And Allison Flattery is the editor. So that's really cool. Um, and right there on the thank you page, I don't know if you can see it. In the middle column, very, very top, is Gary Brantner of Retin Art Studios Comics. So that is pretty cool. Um, yeah, I love seeing uh, thank you pages. Thank you pages is a really cool thing. I love putting them in my comics as well. And uh, yeah, gotta love those thank you pages. So um, yeah, check out... Check out Hollowed, number three. That was a good read. Um, so let, oh yeah, it even came with a cool, bleep, drop it all over here. It came with an awesome sticker of the cover, so that's cool. Um, yeah, it's about the size of my mini comics. Pretty cool stuff, I love them. And uh, so yeah, sticker, that'll go on the, uh, the long box that I put Hollowed in. So that's one way I tell what's in what, is the long boxes have stickers on them. Spider-Man and Spider-Man boxes, all sorts of fun stuff. So yeah, I, one thing I really love about Hollowed is, uh, man, I swear it's got a really awesome bombastic art style. Um, kind of makes me think of graffiti. Very, very, very fluid. Oh, I don't know if I can show that page. Some naughties going on there. But anyway, here's a little fight. So these detectives are trying to find a, a serial killer who is, a, uh, who is hollowing out his victims. And these two detectives, they're starting to get on each other's nerves. And uh, one punches another in the middle of uh, a crime scene investigation and and all that fun stuff. And uh, 
Yeah, so one, one detective punches the other, and uh, he, he ends up in a bar to cool off. Uh, really, and then at the bar, too, he's, he's yapping his jaw off, bragging about the case, talking to people he probably should not be talking to about this case. And he ends up hitting on a, on a hot red-headed girl or blonde. I can't tell. The artwork. Oh, yeah, she's a blonde. Anyway, he starts hitting on this red-headed girl. And one thing leads to another. He ends up at her place. And uh, she's taking her clothes off and stuff. And he discovers something I cannot show you. But it is disturbing. And it might be a big break in the case. And, uh, yeah. And so that's where this story ends. Huge, huge cliffhanger on that one. And, uh, I mean, I'm just like, whoa, I gotta read the next issue. And the next issue is currently on Kickstarter right now. Hollowed, number four, is on Kickstarter right now. I will tell you more about that when I get to the Kickstarter campaign corner section of my show. But, yeah, Hollowed, that was an awesome read. And next issue is on Kickstarter right now. Can't wait to get the next issue. And, yeah. That was pretty cool stuff. Here's another one. Let's see here. Planer Jane. This is issue... Oh my gosh. The uh, numbers are never on the front cover. This is issue three. Planer Jane. I love that cover though. Super glossy. Really good stuff. Really, really dramatic cover too. And uh, yeah. So Planer Jane, issue three. This one, uh, it has a thank you page, but it is only for uh, Kickstarter super supporters. And I don't think I backed at that level, so my name's not on that list. Anyway, so Planer Jane is written and created by David Wilburn. Sequential art by Wayne Loden. Front cover artist and colors, Ralph Seen. Rear cover artist, Donna A. Black. And logos and lettering, is rear cover? Okay. Logos and lettering are by Tim West. Guest artist in the How Jane Met Cat is Giuseppe Sabe Di Stefano. And yeah, that was a pretty cool little short in there by Giuseppe. So, so um, Planer Jane is the story about a girl in uh, high school and she discovers that she wants to be a uh, hired killer. So it's kind of Dexter meets uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, but there's no vampires. So more, more likely it's just Dexter in high school, and if it, Dexter was a girl. So one thing I like about these is, as you can see, they are drawn in black line art, and there is occasionally a red color here and there. Let's see, there's not a lot of red right here. Oh, there's some red right there. So. Yeah, good stuff. Um, this one even came with a playing card. Or is that a sticker playing card? I'm not sure. It is a playing card of, it looks like, uh, Planer Jane's friend Cat. And this one also came with a Broken Face sticker. Broken Face is the uh, company that uh, makes Planer Jane. Or the, you know, the guy's little group. So yeah, Planer Jane, really cool stuff. I like their... They're dropping in of red. You can see some red right there in the uh, the blood that this patient is getting. So Planer Jane um, is she's living a double life, learning the secret identity kind of thing, and uh, she uh, she's going to high school, all that stuff like that, and she's also learning how to be a nurse on the side. That's something she picked up at career day, following around Cat. And, uh, but she's also killing, contract killing, on the, on her off time from being a nurse and being at school. And, uh, so that, that's where this story is, where, what this issue is, uh, filling us in on. And, uh, there is a news story going on in the TV at the, uh, hospital and stuff in the background of the story. And they're talking about these mysterious stabbings, and they're thinking these stabbings are gang-related. But really, she's just a contract killer and out killing these bad people. And so, uh, yeah, the story goes along this way. Uh, she gets a, a text from her contact. He wants her to kill this person. And uh, the, she goes to kill the person. I think she was uh, accosted the wrong person. And uh, 
she ends up letting him go with a little cut and uh, and the girl he was with also so that leaves two witnesses I mean rule number one if you're gonna be a contract killer you should not leave witnesses right and so that's where this story leads us leaves us and so we get to spend some time most of the issue uh, she's with Kat her friend learning how to be a nurse and uh, stuff like that and then the uh, rest of the uh, issue is her out on a job killing someone but taking on tracking down the wrong person and it goes badly crazy stuff right there and so um, yeah okay so that is uh, Planer Jane number three and it is also on Kickstarter right now so Planer Jane issue four I'm already back in it I think I, the next Kickstarter is issues four and five so you, it'll save shipping because you're getting two issues at the same time or if you're new to the story you could get issues one two three four and five all together in one bundle I recommend that um, because yeah it's it's an awesome story I'm liking where it's going and uh, cool so speaking of Kickstarter ca ca corner campaign corner this that's what I call this segment because not all of these are from Kickstarter so I'm gonna jump right into the campaign corner this is where I talk about all the stuff that is on Kickstarter and Indiegogo and I'm going to start with a shameless self plug on this one and uh, yeah I'm going to talk about my own comic book right now it is called Peter Pan the Vampire uh, as you know I have three issues of Peter Pan the Vampire I'm currently trying I'm doing my best to get the next issue out but wow it's it's a struggle with uh, home repairs going on and uh, family life all that fun stuff I still have a toddler that spends half the day with me until I take him to kindergarten so basically my whole day's tied up anyway enough excuses I'm still trying to get that issue 4 done it's coming though and issue 4 will also have a uh, backstory it'll be a split comic uh, 20 pages from me Peter Pan the Vampire and the rest of the issue will be Mermaids of Neverland, uh, drawn by my daughter, written by another daughter, and co-written by me. So that's soon to be coming to Kickstarter, as soon as I get that done. Uh, but anyway, Peter Pan the Vampire, 1, 2, and 3, they are on IndiePlanet.com. You can buy the hard copies, or you can uh, download the digital copies. No cost to you, no shipping, no download fees, nothing. Just go on there download them that even helps me out too uh, that's why they're on there for free is uh, hopefully you guys get a taste of what I'm making and uh, you like it either way if even if you download them don't read them it still helps me out with the algorithm gets me noticed in the on the front page is downloaded recently like they have a page where you, when you first get on there it recently downloaded pops up on there Peter Pan the Vampire so yeah go on to IndiePlanet.com Type in Peter Pan or Rent Narb or Vampire Comics, whatever. All the keywords, Peter Pan, the Vampire, they'll come up. And uh, download issues 1, 2, and 3. Let me know what you think. I'll even uh, drop your comments on this show if you let me know what you think. Because, you know, what? when am I not going to love hearing what someone thinks? Even if you don't like them. I don't know if I'd love it, but I do want to hear what you think, what I could work on, all that stuff. And as you know, I print my comics through Kablam. Kablam is awesome, and uh, they've been nothing but awesome to me since I started printing with them in 2009. And, uh, yeah, I am going to continue printing with them for as long as they're around. They're awesome people. They're, uh, wear a Kablam shirt at any signing is an awesome little thing. And uh, speaking of... Uh, comments and that I recently had some comments on my YouTube show so I'm going to tell you what so a Joel Gonzalez Matute ha, he says hello that's all he said in the comments is hello and he about a week later he commented again request goth ghost girl number two review which I think I already did long long time ago and uh, I went searching through uh, the show records and I couldn't find it to drop it into the uh, message for him but or either e anyway he wouldn't I couldn't come in on his things anyway because uh, he has his privacy settings on or something so it bars people from commenting anyway 
Thank you, Joel Gonzalez Matu, for uh, commenting and watching the show. And yeah, if you go back through all the episodes, there are a lot of times when I've reviewed Goth Ghost Girl. And uh, so, yeah, and I'll continue to review them. I think they're up to issue three or four now. And I can't wait till the fifth issue come, hits Kickstarter. Yeah, I might even have it in my read pile for all I know. And I got a new subscriber, Sam West. Hi, Sam. Thanks for subscribing to Rent Art Studios. And that's all my comments for now. Let me get into Campaign Corner now. Super Scouts, the collected edition, is on Kickstarter right now. It ends on November 9th, so let's see what day. So you better get on to that quick. Uh, yeah. So Super Scouts, the collected edition, uh, it was an awesome story. It's these uh, people that were in a show, it's like Power Rangers. They had suits on, they knew martial arts and did kung fu with magic and stuff. And uh, the people in the show discovered that it was real, like Galaxy Quest. And uh, suddenly they actually have to fight uh, these aliens and stuff. And it's a really cool way it was drawn. I love the style. It reminds me of uh, the X Factor days when Peter David was uh, writing it. And yeah, so I really dig the art style. The uh, storyline is really cool stuff. 105 pages of uh, Super Scouts, the collected edition. You could also get the Axeman collected edition on there. It's another Kickstarter that I backed, and uh, it's in my read pile, the Axeman. But yeah, 105 pages of Super Scouts on Kickstarter right now till November 9th. Unicorn Vampire Hunter 1 and 2 is on Kickstarter right now. A whimsical fantasy adventure about a unicorn who hunts vampires with his horn. This unicorn vampire hunter made himself known, and now he's made some powerful enemies. Uh, so the vampire community wants to kill him. He, uh, he killed the wrong vampire's brother. And so this is 24 pages. They've got some awesome stickers on there that you can add to your, uh, your backing. Get issues one and two. It's really cool. Uh, I just recently read, wait, maybe uh, issue three is on Kickstarter right now. I've already read one and two. So check out Vampire Unicorn Hunt, Unicorn Vampire Hunter issue one, two, and three on Kickstarter right now. And uh, yeah, it ends on November 13th. Duplicant 1 through 5 is on Kickstarter right now. Uh, 1 through 5, it's a pulse pounding sci fi mystery about a scientist who becomes a victim of his own technology. You can snag five issues. And with the uh, catch up tier, a pandemic is destroying organs, and a doctor that succeeds in cloning the organs for people who have uh, caught this illness and it eats, liquefies their organs. He's found out how to clone them and and uh, keep them from dying. I feel like I'm taking crazy pills! Ah, I just got a text. Let's see if it's important. Okay, so sorry about that little uh... Anyway, Duplicant 1 through 5 is on Kickstarter right now till November 18th. Check it out. It's got some awesome artwork. It's an awesome uh, future pandemic storyline and uh, it's really good stuff. Grim Space, number one, is on Kickstarter right now. This is the one that uh, you could also get uh, Tales from Neverland and Grim Space in the same back. Uh, just add it to your uh, backing. So it's a sci-fi reimagining of classic fairy tales. A space fantasy one-shot that retells Jack and the Beanstalk story with aliens. It's a world of fables and fairy tales stylized like Star Wars. So one of the things about this Captain Jack is he is driving or he is flying around in space in a ship called the Beanstalk. So that's really cool. And uh, there are some mentions of a Pinocchio, which is actually an android named P1 Nokio. It's a robot that thinks he's a real boy, and he and Jack has ends up uh, taking this android. Uh, to the market and trading him for a navigational unit for his ship the Beanstalk and that's when everything goes wonky. Uh, he ends up with uh, star charts that aren't matching it takes him to faraway places. It's a 28 page story from the people who brought you tales of from Neverland and uh, yeah good stuff. Grim Space 1 on Kickstarter till November 19th. 
The complete Kickstarter playbook is on Kickstarter right now. It is a timeline checklist and guide to running a successful Kickstarter campaign for writers. From the guy who made what they don't teach you in art school, which is another comic. I, it's not a comic. It's a textbook that I backed. And uh, yeah, I read that. It was pretty cool. Had some helpful stuff in it. I didn't go to art school, and uh, it, it taught me a lot about marketing and uh, f just stuff. So who knows what's in the uh, complete Kickstarter playbook until it, it succeeds and ends up on my doorstep in my mailbox. So the complete Kickstarter playbook on Kickstarter right now till November 22nd. Wasatch Wonders 2 is on Kickstarter right now. This is from a, a person who just lives over the hill in Logan. So we're technically neighbors, because I'm in Logan almost every week, donating my plasma and hitting the home, or the lows and the, all that fun stuff. Anyway, Wasatch Wonders 2, on Kickstarter right now, a 24-page comic book that contains the adventures of Utah's greatest super team, the Wasatch Wonders. Evan makes this comic in his spare time, and uh, he's an awesome guy. This comic is awesome, and uh, I've told him he needs to make his uh, his logo and characters into a sticker. Hopefully one day he does. Throw them up on Redbubble. I'll buy those. That'll be cool. Then I can use that to uh, put on my long box where the uh, Wasatch Wonders resides. Anyway, Wasatch Wonders 2 is on Kickstarter right now until November 23rd. And if you are a comic book creator, there is a page with ad space available. You could throw up advertisements for your Kickstarter on there, or your comic book, and uh, get some new readers. It's an awesome way, you'll, and you'll get the book, and uh, read the book also, and that'd be cool too. So check out Wasatch Wonders 2 on Kickstarter till November 23rd. Miskatonic High 13 is on Kickstarter right now. Miskatonic High, as you know, is one of my favorite reads, and uh, right now, these kids are time-twisting. This is the Time twisting end to season two, when Alex and Simon confront a warlock, and it's a race against time to save them. But for some reason, but for some of these teens, it's already too late. Twenty-seven pages of awesomeness. Uh, I always, I always like the uh, back matter in these books. They, um, they go through. It's called the teachers' lounge, and they uh, go through. Uh, a lot of stuff on how the comic was made, how the issue was made, what they were thinking, their notes back and forth to each other from uh, Mike to Ryan. Really awesome stuff. I love these stories, these kids, and uh, I will continue backing Miskatonic High forever because it's an awesome book. So check out Miskatonic High 13 on Kickstarter right now till November 25th. Hollowed 1 through 4 is on Kickstarter right now. It is the continued adventures of detectives Tyler and Vasquez as they hunt down a serial killer in Buffalo, New York. It has an, a, a coinciding uh, soundtrack to go with it, so check it out. Hollowed number one through four on Kickstarter right now till November 30th. Leap M is a new one I'm back in. It is a one-shot gritty crime comic. A dishonorably discharged veteran has his life stolen from him. Now he seeks... The one who took what he, what he never wanted. It is a 28-page comic book. Leap M, or Leap Machine as the government calls it, is the answer to overcrowded prisons. What they do is they take the prisoner, and rather than keep them and detain them, and taxpayers have to pay to feed them for 30 years, they take 30 years of their, year, of their lifespan away and age them. So, uh, he was wrongfully accused... And he ends up losing 30 years of his life, or something like that. He ends up an old man, and now, uh, knocking on death's door, he has to get re his revenge, and maybe it can re be reversed? Who knows? We'll check that one out. It, it sounds like an awesome premise. The artwork looks awesome, and I can't wait to see what Leap M has in store for me. So check out Leap M on Kickstarter right now until December 1st. Planer Jane, 1 through... 5 is on Kickstarter right now. Uh, Planer Jane 1 through 5 is the story of a seemingly ordinary teenage girl who becomes a brutally efficient killer for hire. So check out Planer Jane 
1 through 5 on Kickstarter right now till December 2nd. A Trick of the Light. It's one I recently just discovered thanks to Twitter and uh, it was awesome looking. It's an awesome looking art style. It's penciled and uh, non-colored. Well, it might have colored aspects here and there. Let me just read the synopsis here. A story inspired by British girls comics of the 60s and 70s. It is 40 pages of black and light with color elements. It's 1970 and Ruth and Cynthia are two teachers that work in a country school somewhere in the UK. Ruth is driving them to work and starts to develop a migraine. She pulls over because reality was starting to shift and make her doubt her perception. And that's all the synops. But I'm at, looking at the uh, drawings and stuff. I'm getting a serious um, Outlander vibe from it. It's got the uh, stone circles and uh, it sounds like it's going to deal with some time travel. So I am in. What is the dark secret of the standing stones? That is printed on the bottom of the comic book. So yeah, it's awesome artwork. It's got me sold. I like the premise. A Trick of the Light is on Kickstarter right now till December 3rd. In the Land of the Dragon number one is a cyberpunk fantasy comic book. A, a kidnapping of a child with unknown powers sparks a war between two warring corporations in a world of magic and technology. Um, looking at the artwork and everything, uh, it made me think of uh, Battle Angel Alita and uh, Cowboy Bebop. A lot of cool stuff like that. Um, you get It's got some really interesting artwork. Those uh, huge wide-rimmed, uh, wide-tired motorcycle things that look like they can hover. All sorts of awesome artwork. So check out uh, it is also a 32-page comic book. I should mention that. Um, so check out In the Land of the Dragon, number one comic on uh, Kickstarter right now till December 3rd. Dig Two Dra- blah, I do that every time. There is no D in Graves. Dig Two Graves, the graphic novel, is on Indiegogo right now. After the brutal murder of her family, Miranda Stone is left with a desire for revenge. And when they... The old saying of, if you are out for revenge, dig two graves. It is 80, po it is 80 pages, plus four bonus materials. It's for mature readers. Check out Dig Two Graves, the graphic novel, on Indiegogo right now. Happy Pines is coming to Kickstarter soon. It is a 35-page mystery thriller comic set in the forests of Nova Scotia. So Happy Pines coming to Kickstarter soon. Zadar the Savage is coming to Kickstarter soon. Zadar the Savage brings vengeance to those who aim to destroy his life. This is from uh, Dark, Fil Dark Side Films, who, as you know, I've been reading some uh, comics from them. So Zadar the Savage is from the same people who bring you Lovecraft P.I. and Berserker Solo Island. So as soon as that one hits, Zadar the Savage coming soon. As soon as it hits, I am in. I am on board. It, it looks really cool. It's some Conan the Barbarian looking stuff. Awesome. So, that brings me to tell me about your campaigns. If you've got a comic book on Kickstarter or Indiegogo or even on Indie Planet, um, let me know about it. Or if you want me to, if you want to send me a Dropbox link, whatever, I will read your comic book. I will let you know what I think. So, tell me about your stuff. What do you got going on? You got some awesome shirts. You got some cool stuff going on. You got stickers. Let me know. I love it. So what have I been watching lately? Um, I've been watching Why the Last Man and uh, Doogie on... There's a new Doogie Hauser. It's uh, Doogie Kamala Aloha on uh, Disney+. Plus. Really good stuff. Um, it's really cute. It's something I can watch with my wife. It's fun. It's got Jason Scott Lee in it. He's awesome. He cracks me up. And uh, Lock and Key Season 2 is on Kickstarter, or not on Kickstarter. Lock and Key Season 2 is on the uh, Netflixes right now. And uh, I'm watching that with my girls whenever they don't work and I don't work, which that's getting really difficult to uh, coordinate. But we're watching Lock and Key together. And we're, we're trying not to just burn right through it. I'm, I'm getting really sick of the uh, binge watching 
nonsense. And so I like the week to week having to watch things. It would be awesome. I wouldn't mind it if if uh, Netflix just released at each episode week to week like the Disney and the HBOs and all those shows do. Uh, so whatever. So yeah, we're stretching it out. Lock and key. And um, me and my wife recently binged uh, the Twilights again. I know, Twilight. It gets a lot of crap, but whatever. It's still interesting to watch. Good stories. There's a fan for everything, right? So don't knock it till you try it. Anyway, let's see here. This is all my best of. As you know, uh, I am on Patreon right now. I have had a Patreon for a good while and haven't really done anything with it, but now that's where these videos go. And uh, if you're backing me for a dollar, or you could back me at whatever level you want, back me at one dollar, five dollars, fifty dollars, whatever. If you back me at fifty dollars, I will send you a box right away of awesome stuff and uh, cool. Anyway, so if you're backing me on Patreon, this is what you get out of it mainly. Even if it's a dollar a month, you're you're getting. I will say your name on this show. And I will hold up a place card like this, and I will, I will say, thank you to my patreons, to my patrons, Gary Brantner or whatever your name is, and I will hold it up like that so that people can see your social medias. And when I post it on the Twitter and the Instagram and the Facebooks, I will tag you with whatever. So if you if you give me your Twitter and your Facebooks. On your Instagrams, I will tag you in all of those underneath each episode so that everybody can know that uh, my Patreons are these people. Check them out. Give them a follow. All that, all that fun stuff. So that's where we are right now. Now we are going to move on to the last section of my show. Um, usually I do this in the middle, but today I am bumping it to the last because I've got a box opening that I need to do. And I'm excited to see what's in this box. So it's time for my Renton Arms mailbox, mailbox, mailbox. Doo -doo, pop, pop, beep, boop, pop. Renton Arms mailbox. Ba -ba 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 -ba. So first off, I'm going to tell you about some things that are not mailbox. Uh, I recently went down to Ogden and uh, picked up my hold from my comic shop, Gamers Asylum. So Gamers Asylum, I love you guys. Thanks for doing my hold. Uh, I live way up here in Box Elder, and Gamers Asylum is down there in Weber County. So there's a little distance between us, and it takes me some time. Sometimes every two months I go, I make it down to my comic shop. Or, in this case, this week I went down because my daughter's phone broke, and I had to take it to Ogden and get fixed. Anyway, I picked up this. This is uh, Spider-Man, Miles Morales Spider-Man. This is just free, though. They had a little counter of all their stuff from Free Comic Book Day that didn't get picked up. And I picked up a few free comics. Miles Morales being one of them. That'll go into the read pile. Hawkeye. Can't wait to read that. Kate Bishop. I love it. That looks. That's an awesome cover right there too. Can't wait for that show to start. That's coming up soon, isn't it? Uh, this one looked cool cover-wise. It's called Resident. And it flips over. And as another story called Sarah. This is how I'm going to do my Peter Pan the Vampire and the Mermaids of Neverland is when you flip it and get to the middle it'll flip suddenly flip over into a whole different comic. So Resident, can't wait to read that one. And I got Amazing Spider-Man volume 14. That'll go into the read pile. I think I'm behind on the readings though. I might only be at, at uh, issue 9 and I picked up uh, X Corp. This comic uh, intrigued me because multiple man's in it. That's pretty much all I know about it. So I'm starting to read that pretty soon. And I also picked up two more trades of X-Men Age of Apocalypse. So those are cool. And what I actually got in my mailbox this time is a comic called Crossover Division number two. So that came in my uh, mailbox. That's awesome. And then this big old box right here. Look at that. That came in my mailbox. This is from Kablam Printing. And these are my own Peter Pan Vampire comics. 
So, let's see what's in here. Oh, got a big old ton of uh, trim printings. My comics are in here somewhere though. Oh yeah, there we go. Yay! Peter Pan the Vampire Comics. So, let's see here. I recently did a Fanex Comic Con and I had sold out on all my comics so I had to reprint. So now I got some new Peter Pan Vampire sketch covers. These are blank ones that I draw anything you request on them. Those are cool. Oh, what is that? I think they messed up on this one. This one. Oh, nope. They just put a nice protective sleeve around this sketch cover. And I did this thing where I, I print mini comics and what they do is they print three on the side and then I cut them into mini comics that are the size of a credit card. So that's a cool thing. Uh, I recommend anybody do that. I, I wish I would have had a bunch of them printed for Halloween. Gave them out as trick or treat things, but uh, maybe next year I'll do it that way. So yeah, this is what I do. I've got a bunch of mini comics there. I need to cut them and staple them. And let's see here. Okay, I think they sent me the wrong book. Dang it. I don't think that was in my order. Yep, okay, so I'm gonna have to reorder those. And there's issue two and issue one. I gotta figure out how to. I keep putting it off, I'm a procrastinator, but I need to set up my Etsy page and put all my comics on Etsy. So that is the end of my show. Thank you for watching Renton Art Studios Comics, and I'm going to turn off the camera now.